This is a Troy built TB42. I am going to say it was submerged in water and probably let it heavy. Um, got all the uh, water out of the uh, out of the crankcase, out of the oil. Um, it was just uh, clogged up, but uh, have changed the oil about three or four times. But the problem was I could not get I could not get um, it to charge. And so I had cleaned up the contacts and all that. And um, though I noticed that I, I've, I totally re went through all this wiring because I noticed that a lot of there was a lot of corrosion on the wiring, especially the ones coming from the um, the charging system or the stator uh, going to the battery. Um, in fact, on the connector here, it was uh, corroded in two. So that should have been an indication right there that I had some problems underneath uh, in the stator. I had a very hard time getting this off, but uh, I was finally able to get it off. And when I got it off, I found that I indeed, both of the yellow um, AC, or both of the yellow uh, uh, leads were corroded. At this end right here and this end right here um, now I have already done the repair on that so what I did was I where this was um, broke on both ends I sanded down sanded out the um, the uh, coating epoxy coating on there so I could get a good connection and um, and then I crimped. I used the blue. This this one was too small. I used the blue crimper. Took off the um, uh, insulation and crimped the two together. And, and then I cut off this end. Then I just got it really hot with the soldering um, gun or soldering iron and just doused that with um, filled it with. Um, with the uh, whatever that's called, I can't remember. Solder, and um, I've got good connection now. I had plenty; it was good because I had plenty of room on this connector to to be able to move the yellow wire. And now I definitely have continuity from the yellow to yellow. The black is good. I noticed that the orange was good. I think the orange is the one that goes to the headlights, the AC. And these are the two DC that come out. I ended up coating that around because this one had that that on there, um, um, kind of that heat tape. So I went ahead and uh, coated it with uh, plastic weld and letting that dry right now. And um, also one thing, I thought, you know, I thought uh, I'd always wondered if you could glue these back on if they popped off as I was um, trying to get this off only one of the magnets popped out and so I uh, on the bottom I put um, um, what's it called what's it called super glue and then around the sides I put plastic weld and I think that's gonna be pretty good I mean it was it was already helped by the magnetism it held it there so um, I think it's gonna do pretty good when we get it back on I'm excited it's a good motor I'd hate for that motor just to, you know just to scrap that motor just because we couldn't get it to charge um, on that particular motor it's not a Briggs it's not a Kohler kind of like a, a Japanese um, or, or a Chinese um, um, kind of a, a knockoff of those. These are very expensive. Not, they're. I can't find them on eBay, hardly. Or if I do, they're like two hundred bucks a piece or a hundred dollars a piece. So, you know, I just gotta fix it to salvage this motor again. But I like this motor. I like it's got a Kaihan, um carburetor on it. I think it's a lot better than those. Um, um, those Nikki carburetors. I don't like those. 
Um, but another video I'll show, I guess, of how I just totally re revamped the wiring on this. Um, and uh, uh, this is a generator starter right here, or uh, solenoid.